Gosh, I don't know what it is about this car. Every time I look at it, every time I get close to it, all I think of is, this is an amazing machine. Oh, I love the S2000. So everyone, in this video, what I'm looking to do is actually just do a quick little repair on the car, which is to do with the timing chain tensioner. Um, as the car gets older and as you get more mileage on it, there's a little bit of a, a design, I don't know, it's not really a defect. It just seems to be something that the designers at Honda didn't realize that over time it could wear out, which the worm gear inside of the timing chain tensioner. Uh, as it wears out, it basically means it doesn't actually push the timing chain in and keeping it tensed. Um, it basically gets worn out and then it kind of just lets the chain move around a little bit. I started to get a little bit of a ticking noise from that, so definitely want to get rid of that. I'll quickly turn the car on so you can kind of hear it as best as I can get it across in the video. Um, it does mean the car needs to warm up. I won't leave the car on for too long because I don't like that noise being there. I'd rather get it fixed as quick as possible and then kind of call it a happy day. So um, yeah, let me just quickly show you guys what the car sounds like now so you can hear what I'm trying to get rid of. So it kind of sounds okay right now. Sounds smooth, happy. We'll give it a couple of minutes and we should be able to hear the ticking noise. Start hearing it a little bit now. See if you can hear it as I rev the car. not as prominent as I wanted it to be but I'm gonna turn the car off I don't want it to get too hot and everything right now I'd rather leave the car cool while I'm working on it I promise you there is a noise there but it's just not coming across right now but it will become more obvious as I kind of do the repair as to what I was talking about Ooh, had to open up the garage door because otherwise you can um, have a pretty bad incident with carbon monoxide which I don't want so first things first, to get access to the timing chain tensioner, which is just over there, I'm gonna remove the airbox again. Um, as you guys know, I've done that before for doing the intake mod, which was pretty awesome. Oh, it sounds so good with the intake noise. Um, but yeah, take that off and then I'll get good access to everything else. So let's go. So everyone, I've got the uh, timing chain out now. It's probably gonna leak out some extra fluid. So I thought I'd show you all the, the dismantling of it all. Oh, there's a little bit more fluid in there. It's a little bit warm still from having the engine on. So I guess that helped with removing it. I have a strong feeling I'm gonna need the tissue. Right, so inside here now, there's a lot more extra oil in there. Clear this out a little bit. So this is the part that we're looking for. This is the worm gear. And yep, I can already see that this was on its way out. Don't know if you can all see it just yet. 
there's a few shiny spots on this you can see it very shiny just there and there um, you know you can see it going all the way around now I need to get rid of that shine that's the important bit just clear off as much of the old oil off here as I can so the reason why this needs to be fully dry is because this is where I'm gonna need to do some some sanding uh, just basically to get rid of that shine and to get it kind of more dull like the other parts this is the top part so it's kind of the bit that's been getting most of the abuse uh, it's been kind of smoothened out um, as you can imagine it's it's basically become polished because it's going against the metal so much it's just uh, not really it's not been able to do its job properly now so I'm basically going to quickly get some sanding paper to sand this down with the other thing i need to undo actually is this here Whoop. dang that's on there very tight i need to undo these two 10 mil nuts um purely because they need to come off so I, when i put it all back together it's not gonna basically be a pain to me so let me just uh, work on that so what I actually did then everyone was actually just stuck the two bolts back in um, just gently not all the way through so the oil rings don't get stuck back on um, and then just crack these two loose I thought that would be the safest way it was just the safest way for me to uh, get that off so we've got the oil ring there just come off the oil ring seems fine no reason why I would need to replace that just yet so I've just got um, some more tissue. All right, this one looks to be the right size. Just gotta crack this loose. Ooh, that's on there quite tight as well. Gosh. Ah. It's one of those moments where you gotta be tough with it, but at the same time, kind of gentle. It's a weird one. So this basically gets screwed into this over here one of the ways you can tell which end of this goes up inside it's the one with the curve at the top here now what i need to do is is go to the local hardware store to find a screw that fits into this end this is the part with a taper at the top um hopefully you can see that just there now you need a screw that goes in to it it only goes a little bit that's it so it's like literally about two to three turns but it needs to be a lot longer and we need to get a wing nut with it as well so i'm gonna go and quickly get that and once i find out what size that is i will come back and mention it so everyone it's been a little while um i ended up going to the shops earlier on and i found the right ones that i needed so it's actually a five millimeter or an m5 uh screw or bolt doesn't really matter what end you get and obviously you need to get the same wing nut as well that basically just screws into the end of this and i'm gonna actually leave it on there for now just so i can sand all of this properly um i think i might use the dremel first um actually no what i might use is sanding paper first see what kind of results i get from that and then i'll look at using the dremel depending on how i feel also with the sandpaper you can kind of control things a little bit better so i'm just going to try that out first and i will pick up with you guys shortly so guys uh, i've basically used that bit um on the dremel and i've got it to look like this it looks shiny but it's actually quite coarse um it's basically all scuffed up the entire thing i'm half tempted to go over this with the the wire brush drill thing over here not drill the table thingy majiggy and kind of wire brush it some more make sure it's as coarse as it can be um where it's like actually causing some friction i'm hoping it's coming out on camera but it does look different it looks a lot shinier in some ways but it's just covered in loads and loads and loads of small scratches now so that's kind of what i was going for I was able to do it with the sandpaper but it just takes a lot longer so this was just looking as a better option for me I'm going about it this way so now I'm going to actually look at putting everything back together So 
everyone with everything put back together i'm just going to oil this up a little bit so i don't damage these o-rings and then i'm going to look at putting everything back into the car so it's pretty simple fairly smooth process so far um fingers crossed once i get that back in there it's going to sound nice and good so let's go lubricated enough so these the way this fits is it's got to go in like this this is going to be facing towards the back of the engine i'm just going to get these guys ready so you got to make sure it's tight but not too tight where you're going to damage anything because you're basically working with aluminium on both sides so yeah you don't want to damage anything there then we just gotta loosen this guy that's it and so this fits on with the ntn facing like that so i'm gonna put that on next just need to put this screw in to find a small screwdriver again it's a situation of do it in tight don't try to go too crazy Put a little bit of oil around that as well. Those two tighten back up. Ooh. I'm actually going to look at starting the car with everything else still disconnected because I think it will sound interesting. It should sound a bit unhappy at the beginning, but clear up as it goes on. Now, I would call that a success. That means the engine is running nice and happy now. Um, the, the ticking does sound like as though it's not there, but again, the car is cold. So I'm going to pick up with this later on. If there is any further issues, then I'll do another video on it and say, hey, I bought a Billman or whichever one of the other timing chain tensioners. But at the moment, it sounds really good and happy. It did take a couple of hours, really, to get this done. Obviously, it took me a little bit longer because I was talking, I was vlogging, etc. Um, but yeah, it's it's a fairly easy, quickest job. I noticed that the headlights do need a refresh again with the um, compound and stuff. So I'm going to probably look at doing a sealant on that after doing another quick polish over and stuff. So just gonna put together the air box and everything, put everything back on and then drive the car out. But yeah, everyone, if you did enjoy this video, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel, give me a follow on Instagram and leave a like for this video if you found it helpful or in entertaining or anything like that in any way. But yeah, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Peace out for now, bye.